Welcome to the Nintendo Ninja News Show episode 4 and um, our design's gotten a little more simplistic here um, just for this episode I guess. Um, we've got a little Yoshi Willy Amiibos out for today which is quite nice and um, don't worry this is not going to be half an hour show. Um, we have been a bit quiet on the, the new videos front, and yes, I've got the little headphones on just for old time's sake, and sometimes it's just a little easier to, to move around, so sometimes we'll have, I think most of the time we'll have the, the stand-up mic, and sometimes we'll have this, so it's all depending on the situation and that. Um, and I've got my notebook and pen in order to jot down things. Um, there's no Q&A session tonight due to no questions. We've gone down from an average of one or two questions to zero. I haven't really asked that many people for it, but uh, that's okay. Um, we've been <coughs> on the Nintendo Ninja News front. We have our Facebook group, um, our Twitter page, and our Reddit page, which are all up and running. The Twitter page is still being worked on slowly here and there. We've got about 45 followers, which is nice. Um, our Fan page is gone due to it's been inactive and it's very hard to keep up with it. Uh, Rashane did a great job running that as he did, but um, we feel like the group is a better way to go for the type of stuff that we do. Um, <clears throat> now, I guess the, uh, the topic that we are going to uh, talk about a little bit is... Um, I guess myself and uh, some of the issues that I face at times, uh, I'm obviously <clears throat> a big Nintendo gamer, but I also have issues with um, clinical depression and anxiety. I know that a lot of gamers have uh, problems with that. Uh, for me, um, it's, it's up and down. Um, I would say that March was a fantastic month for Ninja News. We got uh, nearly 6,000 views, which is great. Uh, this month is not tracking too well, but I think we were, I was expecting a bit of a fall to that. And I, I feel like that I did lots of videos last month and I, f I felt a bit burnt out. And I've also been doing um, a lot of rearranging in the house, actually, um, because um, I put the Amiibo stand in the... I have like this Amiibo slash handheld uh, bookcase in the lounge room. I've put that now in the ninja in the room. So that was cool. And uh, I rearranged a few things in the other room too and upgraded my bedroom. And you'll probably see that in my, my personal account at Facebook uh, that I did that. And I've been doing things to <coughs> do a bit more of a balance in life with doing my video show, maybe doing some more writing again and doing more personal social life stuff and I think it's important for gamers and for people to try to keep that balance in their own lives instead of you know gaming for eight or ten hours a day and and all that sort of thing I used to do that when I was uh, heavily depressed years and years ago and it's never a good thing and I, I think um, it's it's a very tough thing <coughs> um, to, to do that sort of stuff. And I guess for me, the last few days um, has been a mix of, you know, feeling very excited about some of the changes I'm doing at home and the video shows doing well and 24,000 views or something like that. It's been going really amazingly this year. And then you feel a bit, um, um, a bit depressed and a bit burnt out and a bit overwhelmed about stuff and you start to stress and worry about things. So um, I'm hoping that I can sort of um, keep positive about things and that and it's 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 a difficult thing at times trying to manage it and um, I'm hoping that um, people understand a little bit of sometimes my videos are a little bit incoherent or they don't come out as often this month um, I'm sure that my excitement will be back when E3 uh, rolls around and uh, there hasn't been much Nintendo news there's been a lot of trailers coming out for games coming out like um, Metroid Federation Force and Star Fox Zero so it it makes it um, fairly difficult in that respect so I'm hoping that f fingers crossed that's um, that comes out <coughs> so enough about me and that sort of stuff I, I think I just wanted to say a bit about 
myself and, and how I'm sort of travelling in that. Because um, this is the Ninja Show and um, it allows people to, to get to know me a little more. So um, that's a lot of, just something a little different from the, the, the normal videos that I do that last for two minutes. Uh, moving on, Star Fox Zero is coming out very soon. I've got it pre-ordered, but I'm just not too sure if I really want to jump into the game as of yet. Uh, maybe I might cancel the pre-order and get it digitally or something like that. I'm not too interested in getting the digital pack. I've got so many empty boxes of Nintendo stuff from the last year. It's insane at the moment. So it's a bit... I'm sort of humming and harring about that at this point because I've got so many games to play. I've got something like, you know, on average... 60 or 70 games on each console. That's a lot of virtual console games. So don't think I'm buying $70 games every time. That would be too much for me. So um, I'm quite excited for Star Fox Zero. Uh, I like how the uh, the air wing transforms into a robot and moves around. Um, apparently the game looks really good. Um, the motion controls can be turned off. And I think that's an important thing for people to consider and understand. Um, I'm quite happy about how things are at this point. So it's really good to see that. Uh, so I think the game will come out and it will do quite well. I'm very happy about the, uh, the process it's taking. It is be in 10 days time. 10 days time that game will come out. So it's fantastic to see that. And um, we'll see how that goes. So as I did uh, semi-promise that this episode is going to be rather short. Um, we're still experimenting with the um, the length of the show. The first episode did well at half an hour. I think it was because it was uh, a new concept. The second show bombed. Third one did really well. I think people enjoyed the shorter time of 18 minutes. So we'll see if we can do something else. So, sorry, I'm just checking the clock. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm terrible at that. So, look, we're going to come back after a very short commercial break. Uh, well, it's not commercial. It's just an ad telling you to go to Twitter or YouTube or something. So I will come back and talk a bit more stuff about Nintendo and what we've got planned for the next few months because it's going to get very, very exciting. I'll see you after that little break. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, and uh, boy, it's been a tough um, few days for me personally, and just trying to just trying to <clears throat> work myself out a bit. Um, I guess I was talking before about the depression and that, um, just sort of thinking about in between <clears throat> doing these takes. Um, I think I'm I'm getting used to uh, the rearrangement of furniture in my place, and I think it's um, it looks really good for me and I think does positive things for my mental um, illness and things like that and um, I think um, it'll take a little while for me to get used to that and I'm buying a little more couple furniture pieces for the place and that but I'm, I'm quite happy about it <coughs> sorry about that um, so yeah it's it's nice to um, to do things like that um, all right Let's get on to the news. It's, we're going to talk about Nintendo stuff. Hey, it is a ninja show. It's fourth episode, and we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So there was a rumor by Emily Rogers. Yeah, the the Twitter girl who, who pops up and down every now and again, and she disappeared for a couple of months, and now she's back. And there's been rumors about four NX ports <coughs> will come, basically remasters of Wii U titles. Now, the two that apparently is a 100% slam dunk is um, Smash Brothers and um, Legend of Zelda. So, Legend of Zelda will be likely be released on the Wii U and the Nintendo NX console. That's a code name. And um, Smash Brothers will have all that download content, DLC characters and stages that will be packaged up into a nice little NX title. And that will be very nice for a launch just off those two titles itself. However, <coughs> the two others are a little more, f little more uh, difficult. The other two are said to be Super Mario Maker and Splatoon. But the problem that they're having at this point 
is um, the player data and all the courses that people have made, millions of them now, and they're having troubles trying to transfer that data um, to the NX and trying to uh, be able for you to play uh, people on the NX console while you still own a Wii U console. So trying to do that cross uh, console generational sort of play and player transfer and, and data is proven to be quite difficult for Nintendo. So I think some people putting it at a 50% chance it will happen. Um, I assume if they can't do it for some reason, they will probably release new versions of the game or just, you know, do a port of it without that data and just say, hey, well, you know, you can start off your, your a new data for those who have not bought the Wii U. And that's quite a lot, seeming that the sales are about 13... One day it will get to 14 million um, <clears throat> units sold. So that's sort of the, the news for, for that. And I, I, I feel pretty... I'm sort of nodding my head and going, yes, I think that makes sense. And, you know, the PS4 and Xbox One had a lot of remasters and, and ports that they did from earlier um, consoles that they did like The Last of Us, for just the one example, and GTA V. So I don't think it's a bad thing. And Nintendo really hasn't done that in terms of um, launch titles, you know, things like that. So I think if they could do that, maybe on top of... Metroid or F-Zero or Animal Crossing or Monster Hunter, that would be great. I think it's starting to sound like the launch games are a lot stronger than anything else. So I'm very happy about that. <coughs> now, talking a little bit about E3, I know it's still early, but it's just it was nearly exactly two months to go and I'm getting excited. And I know that everyone else is getting excited too about this. And <coughs> I'm not too sure how they should go with the... Um, the conference, I don't know, it should be live or digital event. I probably don't care too much. Um, I guess for me, I'm expecting the NX to be launched with lots of information. Um, I'm thinking that maybe sometime in May or end of um, April, they're going to reveal the console um, and talk more about the specs and the controller and things like that. And I think for the E3 show, it should be all about the games, just roll out every game possible, and show off some of the last uh, Wii U games that people would get. And of course, the Nintendo 3DS in terms of um, Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer, and uh, Monster Hunter Generations, and, and any other titles that they may have that may come um, towards the end of 2016 or the beginning of 2017. Jeez, we're talking about next year already. Crazy. Um... So that's the feeling that I'm I'm getting from that, um, which is fantastic. So this is a rather short sort of uh, news show, isn't it? So, but that's all I've got at this at this moment. Unless tomorrow Nintendo decides to reveal the console, then we've got a lot to talk about, lots of news, little videos, and things like that. That's going to be great. Uh, when it eventually happens, it will, it will happen. We just got to be patient. We've been patient for so long now. And, and remember with, with rumours about consoles and that, just take it with a pinch of salt and just um, remember that, um, that the only official news comes from Nintendo. And then I provide it to you. It's kind of part of my job geek here. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess um, that's it for, for the uh, Nintendo Ninja News Show Episode 4 and I hope that people enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, so, um, we'll see how it all goes, and I will be back providing news in the next couple of days, and, um, we'll see what's going to be revealed in the next two or three months, because it's going to get quite exciting. So, that's it from me, and I shall see you next time on Nintendo Ninja News.